So, hello there. Welcome back again to WordPress course series. This is season two, season two, episode one. And we, I'm going to take it that we have um, gone through season one already. So, um, this is where we stopped. In the, in the last season, you know, we created uh, pages and uh, menus. Actually, so from our menus, we ended up doing things like this. And, um, like that and like that and like that so fine what are we here to do now in this episode we will be talking about wordpress customizer so how do we go about wordpress um customizing wordpress i think it's straightforward here you can see this button here that says customize. so you can do that well the customize does not really mean that after doing one or two stuffs or after doing one or two things everything here would be um lit everything here would be um, dope no that's not it because it's just you know that that we can actually change one or two things here also you understand so we can either click on customize here or go back to this place and click on dashboard so when we click on dashboard then um we have a um, appearance so then you go to customize here or you can also click on themes and click on customize here you know this is the active themes we are, we, we have here. so i'm just going to talk about theme here a, for a, a bit in the next episode we are going to go full fledged into themes so what we actually seeing on the front end is this theme here you understand so we can check the theme details this is the way it looks like in itself in the default you understand so we can change we can customize it we can change the um so I'm using this customize now. If I click on this one, it's, it's also the same thing. You understand? And if I click on the one that is on the top here before, it will also be the same thing. You understand that? So now um, this is what we have here. Now, so we can change we can change the the theme that we have, or we can also try to select from the online part. But right now, I'm not going to go to that part. I'm just going to go straight to what we have on the menu sorry on the course content so that um that's where you can understand or that's where you can follow rather so now that we have um we are in the customizable area then we can change what this is which is demo you can change that to anything we want you can change this to um applicable skills text skills you understand then we can also come here to select um our um icon or something we can upload you know we we've done uploading medias before and things like that so um i'm just gonna go through my stuff to see where we have yeah i think we have um, uh, our logo so we have that So we wait for it to load then we click on that and fine you can see the way it's going to look on apple so we are going to be having that as a, a as our favicon when you check here you're going to see that this has changed to to uh this logo here so i think that's that then we can also select a logo also which is that then um we have that because it has to be cropped so that it can fit so we have that also now so it has been removed so if I want to make this great now, I can just remove this tagline. You understand? And that is it. Then I can also add a retina logo. The retina logo is just telling us that okay, fine. Um, you just scale logo to fit half its upload size. You get making it sharp on high resolution screen. So it's just that you make it the same all through the screen. So it will be sharper on high resolution screen, and it will be the way it's supposed to be on lower resolution screen also. I think that's that's enough so we have publish here so that we can make the change permanent then we go back to to change colors so we can change the color of the background if we don't want i personally prefer gold like color i don't know if that's a good but that's just the color i prefer somehow one, one way or the other i don't i don't know i just like uh, uh something goldy or well, the funny thing is like i don't i don't like using gold uh um gold jewelries i prefer silver but 
I just prefer this. I just prefer the color on um, other things. So I think that's that. Then um, if you want this search bar, so this theme as you can see, it, it says theme option. So this theme has a function whereby you can say, okay, you don't want to show the author's bio. You realize there's, there's a change in something there. You understand? You don't want to show the author's bio. Possibly, may, maybe underneath the author's bio is supposed to show, but it's not showing right now. It will be shown right now because we click the button. Look at this part. It's going to go off because we'll be clicking show header in the search, which is which we don't want it to be there. You can see that it has been removed. But if you want it back there, you can put it back there. So um, that's that for the customization for this um, one. Then we have covered cover template. Well, uh, there are a lot of things that uh, you would have to just keep reading the uh, instructions before you can apply. Because there, uh, you don't, you are, you are not the person that created that theme. You understand? You didn't create, create the theme, so you can't. You might not be able to understand at first what um, it means to do one thing or the other. It says uh, fixed background image, create a parallax effect for visual scroll and things like that. I don't think that is affecting anything here. Um, right now, I'm just going to skip through here because. It, there is no effect after changing that overlay background. I don't think that will change, change anything. Oh, it did change something. We have we have any overlay background there. So it's supposed to be green, greenish, but it didn't change anything. So let's just go back. So here in a background image. So if you have to have a background image rather than this color, we can do that also. So let's try to use this. Let's see what's going to happen. You can see that it has changed the background um, color to want a background image for us and you see that it has changed the background color to a background image for us but we don't want something like this because it's not visible it's not allowing things to be visible so we're going to be removing it we are not setting that okay so um menu here too so we can um actually create new menus and change menus also we can create new menus you get so we can tend to okay this is a menu name this and that but you know we know how to create menu before so it's better you go and create a menu the way we thought on this series before you understand the way we've um, explained on previous videos before on this series so that it's going to be great on, on like here it's be you, you'll be kind of handicapped you'll be kind of handicapped to work here so it's better you go back to how we did it so widget to we talk about widget so you can you can add widget also here well it's kind of easier to add widget here also but we still prefer the um, traditional way but if you feel you can just do whatever you want to do here you can still add it so you just click on that so you know then you start typing whatever you want to type here but you can see that it's kind of small and short or some or somewhat but you know it still does the same thing then um here also we have the home page setting so now we need to set a static home page so what is a static home page what why 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 are we seeing Post by admin, post by um, August 16, 2020, um, three comments and things like that. Why are we seeing all these things? We are seeing them because um, we don't have a static home page. What do you mean by static home page? A static home page. Is, so, as we have said, as we have said the other time, that, okay, you know, we have the latest post here, same latest post. Why? Because we've talked about that WordPress is a blogging platform. So, the default is just what we actually need to do. Okay, you have to post, and that is why we have we are seeing this on our own page. Okay, fine. What we what if we don't want this on our own page? We want to convert the blogging platform to full website. So then it means we have to change it to a static page. What is a static page? You know, a static page is that landing page that your user will always see when they first enter your xxxxx.com. Oh, example. Don't let me use xxx so that you don't start thinking um this. <laughs> you know that's what everybody will always do XX. but it's just an it kind of an example you know, you know um having x square s x q in class does not mean the person is a, or your, does not mean your teacher is a perfect that means s q solve the polynomial sorry sorry for digressing but i'm just trying to explain myself so right now if you have to choose a static page you understand that is where your user will land on so if your if your um, landing page is applicable text techtechtechskill.com. Tech, it means that that is what your user will always see when they land on your page. 
possibly these are the things but you know what do you put on your landing page yeah they should be the most important thing so here now we we uh, we just we um normally you're going to see something like if you select then you're going to be selecting the sample page because these are one of the pages that we created so it depends so we can for you to be able to know that okay this is the page you want to use as your own page you can label it home page you get or you can label it front page it depends it doesn't matter so also this is my post page the post page serves as the blog page okay serves as the blogging page you can also create a new page and name it blog here then add it you understand so instead of having the uh the new page as the blog page now you get my point now so i'm just going to publish this because this is that that that, that is what we want now. then we can go back and um, check our demo on this page so we will, we will be seeing what we have here already you understand this is what we will be seeing still already so we don't have any problem with that now so if you want to check our blog page you can see slash blog and click on that so that should give us our blog page which which was what we were at the other time so that's just it that's the different between those two different so we can add the blog page to this menu so that's an assignment for you to do add the blog page to the menu so that's that then last thing being the css css means cascading style sheet. this css is what giving us these colors that we are seeing here look at the color look at the background that we're able to put there it's the work of css you understand so everything every color you see here the, this, the color of these menus is css hmm? a lot of things in fact everything you can't build a beautiful web page without using css of course it's used integrated with html html can't do everything you need you, you need css also so um this is for the advanced we won't be talking about that right now. We won't be talking about it right now. I'm tempted to discuss something about it, but so that I don't digress and I don't get us confused. So that's what I'm just going to be talking about right now. Okay. So with that, I think we are done. We are done with um, we are done with season two of episode one. So um, in the next episode, we'll be talking about themes. Like I said, these options we are seeing here, everything we are seeing here would depend on the type of theme we are using. So we'll be talking about themes on the next episode. So kindly subscribe to our channel if you love our video. Just kindly give us a thumbs up also. We're gonna appreciate it. Um let us know if you have any questions in the comments.